Hi there, Luke Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. I just want to cover how to quickly create this logo effect using Distance Shader and the Ramp RGB Shader. I'm going to start off by creating some type. Call that Distance Shader. Uh, gemstone is the font we used. And assign a flat shader to that. Call that Type. And then we'll uh, create a polygon plane for the wall. Just scale that up and rotate it so it's sitting behind the text. And then we'll assign another flat shader to that. We're going to use a layer RGB A shader to layer the graffiti onto the brick texture. So I'm going to connect the layer RGB to the color of the flat color. And then for input one, the layer one shader, connect a image shader there. I'm going to add the path to the brick texture there. And then for layer two of the layer RGBA shader, I'm going to enable that and connect a ramp to the inputs of the layer two ramp RGB. I've got a preset here that I've used for the colors, but you can use your own as you see fit. Make sure the Ramp type set to custom and then connect a distance shader to the input of the ramp RGB. Color to the input. Need to change the scaling of the brick map, so under the image uh, scale UV, increase that to something like 8. Maybe just offset the colors the RGB just to light it up a bit. So we start to see the distance shader reacting to the type text because, because it's close to the plane. What we can do is increase the distance of the value of the distance shader. So now we start to see more of the ramp. It's looking a bit too clean around the edges. We want to break this up, give it a sort of graffiti look. So I'm going to connect a noise shader to the far color, or I'm going to use another image shader here. And put some oil colored texture to help to break that up. Just goes back to the distance shader. I increase the near color to white. Maybe even increase the distance even more. Or just go back to the ramp and uh, sweep these values as well. So you could either keyframe distance value, like so, or you could even select the type mesh and depending on how close it is to the plane, you should get a different result. So if I was to push this back in Z, keyframe the type mesh here and then set another keyframe. Yeah. And that will give you, that should give you this effect. Okay, so this is the shader. We've got the flat shader here, the layer RGB going to the color, got the image into layer input one, um, the ramp into input two, and then the distance shader going to the inputs of ramp two, and then finally, to get the graffiti effect, we've got the texture going to the far color of the distance shader. Okay, thanks for watching, and bye for now.